Hey, Barker Trash here for a exceedingly rare behind the camera review. And that's just because the light sucks so bad everywhere here at work that this is about the only place I can find with decent light. Today we're going to be reviewing this. This is, uh, I think it's this right here. This figure started off as a Walmart exclusive, but I think with the trailer you can buy it at more places. But, uh, just gonna go ahead and cover the trailer real quick uh, so I can get it out of the way and get onto the figure. Uh, it does not come with this, I just had it and I was curious if it would fit. Uh, yeah, you've seen everything it can do. The, uh, the back folds down and you can put some mech tech weapons in here, which I have very few of. But the whole reason I bought this for was it was a big flat surface for uh, Peter Cullen to sign when I go to the BotCon this week. So get him out the way. And just like in the in the cartoon, it's like it never existed. Um, the truck itself is pretty neat. Um, not too bad, actually. Uh, it would have been nice if they had some flames right there, but... Really, for as small as the figure is, it does have quite a few paint applications on it. So it's it's hard to fault them for skipping on just that little bit. Um, the only thing I would have liked is if the hitch right here would have been a little bit further forward to where whenever the trailer was hooked up, it would have been closer to closer up here like a real truck rather than pretty much just hanging off the back end of it like that. Really, this trailer, I really do believe it would look better on a Voyager-sized figure because if you look at it from the top, it's very wide compared to the truck. Whereas, on a real 18-wheeler, the trailer is barely any wider than the sleeper. Okay, now, now, it's it's gone. It's, it's gone forever now. Just ignore wherever it went. Um... Hmm. Just to go ahead and start the transformation, and this right here, I'm probably going to paint this silver, the uh, the chain racks. Uh, to start the transformation, you're just going to kind of give that a wiggle, get that to free up. It, uh, it pegs the legs, these holes, peg onto these great bits right here. Separate the legs, and the only other figure I can really think of that the legs extend this way is Barricade from Energon. That's just going to rotate around like that. And to my disappointment, it really doesn't peg in anywhere right here. It's It feels more like just friction holding it extended. Uh, this right here, the half of the hitch, is the fifth wheel is going to rotate up, peg into the shin. This is going to rotate to make the toes. And then this is going to come in behind it. And I really do like the way that ends up. Uh, the legs, I really do like them on this figure. So you got him standing here. and I'm going to go ahead and pull off. Pull, not pull off, but just pull out this right here. Separate this. And you really could rotate the cab right now. But I like to get one arm up to where it kind of clears the hood a little bit better whenever you rotate it like this just makes it a little bit easier don't have to fight the things for position rotate this back around and the sides of the sleeper are going to peg into the doors extend the arms thusly Spread out the shoulders like this. This right here is going to peg underneath like this. And it, oh darn, I didn't want to reveal the head yet. Not that y'all haven't seen it, but... And then whenever you take the nose of the truck... Aim this up just a hair. Whenever you aim the truck this up and push it to the back of the... Uh, Oh, you trash. You're not going to work. Well, I'll be doggone. 
Oh, that's why I don't have this pulled. Uh, you have to pull this forward enough to where it, it clicks. So now that you got that like that, spread out the shoulders again and when you push it forward, the head pops up. Um, not too many complaints about this guy. Uh, he will be staying in truck mode on the display because uh, he's gonna, him and the trailer are going to be connected and just in front of all my bigger primes. Um, in the on the box it shows his little shoulder pads kind of up like this and I really don't like that. I like keeping them as low as possible. But uh, he's got the rotation in his thighs. Got that unwanted joint right there that's part of the transformation 90 degrees in the knees uh, his toes do articulate some so you can get him to where he looks flat footed but whenever you do that his heels don't really sit flat anymore so he's going to want to fall backwards the only way to really get him to stand very well of course even like that isn't too too terribly stable but it is better than him with a wide pose uh, he's got 360 well it's ball jointed shoulders so you know what you got there uh, because of the transformation you can get him to touch his own shoulder uh, he can stand on one foot but again it's awkward to try and balance him because of just how narrow this part of his foot is if he had wider heel spurs you could do better but it's just like I said, he's not very stable on the back half of his foot. Uh, this one comes with no gun. Considering they're charging for a $10 figure, plus this empty box right here, 30 bucks, they should have. They could have at least thrown in one mech tech weapon. So that, that's kind of chinchy, but... Um, Besides that, the only real gripe I have is how dark gray the plastic is on this guy. Um, I would have liked it if it had been closer to this to where he would have been just brighter, where he would have popped more. Because this is a dark figure for an Optimus. Um, aside from that, really, I don't believe worth the price of admission. Just because, like I said, I mean... It's you're paying for this and a box to store stuff that I don't happen to have very much of. So uh, anyway, the only reason I bought it, like I said, is for an autograph. Y'all have a good day, good week, and I'll talk to y'all. Probably not gonna upload anything till I get to Botcom. So y'all take care.